Hi guys, Ryu here with Narevit for Blender. In this one, we're gonna be talking about Design Magic Add-on, which is a new add-on by Chip Walters. Now, this add-on is a part of Kitop's environment, and I'm saying Kitop's environment on purpose because that's the truth. You know, it's a whole environment with Kitop's definite EV material system, uh, Bevel, Synth, and now Design Magic, and other add-ons by Chip Walters that basically allow you to create very efficient workflow. Uh, for designing some interesting uh, shape in, shapes in Blender. So what Design Magic is doing is that simply allows you to create very smooth transitions be between shapes and booleans, and in the result we're getting something close to what Fusion 360, Moi, or Metaballs in Blender would create it, but in a very um, non-complicated way. So it's really easy to use, and it's literally a few clicks, okay? Now, this system works very well with hardops and box cutter, and actually I would suggest you use it with hardops and box cutter because it actually makes it faster. And Master Z and 1001 has a very good video on this one on his channel, so I suggest you hop on his channel and watch it. Uh, I'm going to be running uh, videos on this one as well in the future, uh, probably sooner than later, uh, because I'm using it in exactly the same way, okay? So now let's talk about Design Magic. So Design Magic is a add-on that you can get on Chip Walter's store, links in the video description, and you can get it in bundle with Kitops at the moment, which I suggest you do if you don't have Kitops Pro 2. There are a few differences between Kitops Pro a free version and Kitops Pro 2 and I'm gonna make a separate video for Kitops so I don't want to just talk about you know Kitops too much in here but I highly recommend you get Kitops Pro 2 uh, especially now bundled with uh, Design Magic because you know it's the right thing to do it just makes complete sense especially that Design Magic works very well with Kitops and quite frankly it was designed to work with Kitops okay I'm gonna be using Kitops Pro 2 inserts because that's how it was you know intended to be used so I'm gonna add a simple insert here. If I go to modifiers here, you can see that this insert is um, constructed from three uh, out of three bevels. So if I toggle the visibility in viewport, you can see that all these three bevels they basically, um, you know, create this kind of a shape. And we're going to remove props, um, Kitops prop from this insert because you cannot add insert to an insert; it will not work. Okay, so I'm going to add a boolean here, um, and I'm gonna select this one and uh, we're gonna switch here to face although you can do it with hotkeys as well you can simply uh, add insert with this shape selected I hover over here and you can switch between edge pressing E face pressing F and V by pressing vertex so let's say we wanted to um, select F by um, F for face I'm gonna scale this a little bit and GZ move it down and I'm gonna actually go to local mode grab this shape and GG and move it a little bit here so it's kind of shallower, okay? And I'm gonna create another uh, boolean here, I'm gonna add something on top here uh, so let's maybe add a standard cylinder so we're going to select this shape, okay? and add insert, hover over the top it's gonna, gonna snap to the middle of the face so we don't have to do really anything and then just simply GZ and sync it in and uh, we got this kind of a boolean shape. So now if you wanted to mirror an insert you have to switch here to smart mode and we're going to be mirroring this on X axis so simply press X it's going to get mirrored okay um, and there you go. Now with this um, shape here okay I'm going to go to design magic here in end panel and you can see that we have a few options okay first of all we need to add meta shape because that's what it basically is required for us to do in order to start and open other options in the add-on. So we're going to select the shape and click on Add Meta Shape. Now, if I'm going to collapse this stack, you can see that two modifiers have been added here. One of them is called Remesh, and the other one is called Smooth. Now, Remesh is the same modifier that's been found in sculpting, and it simply uh, runs based on voxelization of the mesh. And the Smooth modifier simply smooths the whole thing, uh, ho the whole thing out. So let's talk about other options here, okay? First of all, you get this one, which turns on and off visibility of these modifiers, so the remesh and smooth, right? And uh, another option here is less and more. What does it mean? Uh, if you click on more, it will add tinier, smaller voxels. So if I cl click on the shape, go to Q with hard ops, and I'm gonna turn the wireframe, 
you can see the wireframe of this voxelization. And if I'm going to click on more, you can see that the smooth and voxel size is jumping up. So it's becoming more smooth and the squares are becoming smaller, which means more dense, right? So the higher I go, the more accurate it's going to become. And now if I'm going to reduce the smoothness to, let's say, 40 or even less, you will see the result. Uh, it's going to be, you know, kind of a very smooth very smooth shape with very smooth transitions between edges okay and angles right another option here is that you can manually okay change the smooth value and of course the voxel size but be careful the higher you go the more you know the more resolution you're going to add to the shape the higher is going to be the trist count we are at 100 000, which is quite a lot now here another thing that you can do is to, you can toggle between fast and exact boolean method which is quite important because the exact method is the new method that came with uh, 2.9 and it's really precise okay it's a really precise way of bullying and you need to have a very watertight mesh uh, it needs to be manifold without any flipped faces otherwise exact will not work but the problem with the exacto is that it just takes a bit more memory and becomes a little bit more the, the viewport becomes a bit more sluggish okay so this toggle here is made for you to simply toggle between fast and exact um method for all the booleans running on the selected object with one click okay so i can toggle between fast and exact and that's it so when you work on an object you stick to fast when you're ready to render whatever you finished working on it just switch to exact probably going to give you a bit more you know a bit better results so that's all really about meta shape in nutshell that's that's all you need to know guys and you know you can apply all these modifiers and um, uh, you know or you can just leave them live it's up to you now when i zoom closely really closely you can see that uh, the voxelization is not perfect okay and the problem here is that um, the blender remesh algorithm is simply not good enough okay so if i'm going to go back to my wireframe you'll see what i mean is the way these squares are being created okay naturally the uh, the lower you go here on a number so let's say we're gonna go to a really low number so we're gonna jump to 235,000. you know this is gonna become a bit more defined um, consequently our our shape's gonna become a bit more tight but you can see that we're still getting issues okay and if you're not bothered by this you're fine with that that's cool but if you're a perfectionist like me there are a few things that you can do to improve this and i'm gonna show you a few tricks on how to improve the look of this okay so first of all let's just go a little bit lower here because this number is insane let's go to maybe something like um 0 0.02 and um this should do and you know then the wireframe is not very very good but uh what we can do is we can apply all the modifiers okay so we can apply everything let's reduce the smoothness to maybe something like 10 okay so it's going to be really tight and we're going to apply this all right so what we can do now is we can simply apply all if you don't have this um, these options here what you need to do is uh, enable blender native add-on called interface modifier tools which will basically you know which will drop this menu in here so you can apply all in one click and now what i'm going to do okay i'm going to rerun the meta shape on this shape okay so i'm going to simply rerun meta shape on this one right so click and i'm going to tighten it up all right and i'm going to change the size of this uh, this um, the voxel size to something really low and change smooth factor to maybe something like 50 okay and you can see now that the quality of of these um, edges is it's much higher it's much smoother and much more consistent so you can basically double up on the meta shape another thing that we can do is we can actually change the resolution of these cutters so for example this one is nothing else but um but simply a, a plane changed into a cylinder so it's done with bevel and the bevel has specific number of segments but we can actually increase it to let's say 24 which will make it really dense okay same in here we can make it a bit more dense so we can grab this one go to bevel and change it to let's say i don't know 30 okay and by doing so you're going to increase the resolution of um of the smash and this is going to um, result in a much more smoother um, um meta shape okay so these are two methods that i'll be using for you know making sure that um it just works a bit better and creates smoother shapes another thing that you can do okay um is that you can run a separate bevel on um 
this shape alone. If I'm going to drop this difference uh, uh, boolean, which is here in the bottom, outside the meta shape, right? So now if I wanted to add a bevel to it, it's going to be probably much faster to do with hard up. So I'm going to press Q and control click on the bevel, which will add a bevel on just to this, um, to this area. And then I can make it a bit larger, plus one to change its profile. Okay, and now we see that we have a problem. So what we can do here, for example, is we can add another modifier called decimate. And we could grab this decimate and put it above the bevel. Okay, so we're going to grab it here and put it above the bevel. And you can see this is going to help with a lot of shading problems. Now, these shading problems come mostly from the fact that we don't have weighted normals. So we're going to alt click on sharpen to introduce weighted normals and boom, you got a really clean shape. Um, going on and you got smooth transitions in here and very sharp bevel in here another thing that you can do if you for example want a sharp top uh, you can you can simply slice it off with a boolean so i would just simply go with box cutter and just you know cut the top off so i'm gonna slice the top off and the bevel is gonna be transferred automatically in here because hard ops will be sorting our booleans uh, automatically right so it's gonna be you know boolean bevel uh, after the the boolean so uh the boolean is going to be sorted automatically above the weighted normals and above the bevel so you don't have to worry about it hard ops is taking care of this now you can see decimate what it did for us it actually cleaned up uh, all the unnecessary geo in here lowering the tris count to uh, something really really low which is great uh, but uh, when we're trying to use booleans you know uh, blender will still struggle with the performance uh, because of all the modifiers running in here so if you want to speed up a little bit what you can do is you can go ahead here and multiply with hard ups and this will leave the last bevel and weighted normals and now the performance is going to be much faster okay so if i'm going to go and for example cut it you can see the performance is way faster than it used to be before and you can just keep using you know um box cutter and hard ops uh, from now on now the last thing i'm gonna and the last tip i'm gonna give you is uh, that you probably should turn off the sort of remesh under hard ops if you want to use hard ops uh, because if you um i'm gonna show you the example very quickly okay i'm gonna grab a cube here okay i'm going to go to a circle and i'm gonna draw a circle in here press j and create a joint um union and i'm gonna add a meta shape to this to this thing and if i'm going to try to run a boolean here you can see what happens right uh remesh is basically being sorted underneath the boolean where in fact you know this probably should be something like this okay so the boolean is running uh running first and then is remesh and then is smooth okay so if you switch off this remesher uh remesh sorting in here if you run a boolean uh on this ship right now um the remesh modifier will not be moved and you will be left with this and you're ready to go ahead and simply uh, work with hard ups uh, on this shape all right guys that's it i think that's uh, all in a nutshell that you need to know about this add-on um i suggest you go ahead and visit the cheap Walter store on gamut and blender market links in the video description and there are very detailed videos showing you not just how to use design magic but also how to use kit ups and uh, you know all the inserts and like I said, there's a really cool bundle right now and there's a discount, kind of like an early bird bonus for this uh, add-on. So I would suggest you get it now because it's a really very low price for what you're getting. This is a fantastic way of very quickly creating shapes like this, which is extremely difficult to do with, you know, traditional modeling. It just takes more time. Okay, this is one click deal and you're done. So if you want to create some kind of like a small element or small design um, that you want to plug into your larger design, this is a perfect way of going about it. Now, once you finish, my final advice to you would be to either run decimate, or you could also run clean mesh with uh, with hard up. So let's say we're going to apply this and we're going to go to operations around clean mesh. And clean mesh is going to reduce the number of vessels, let's see, 18,000, and you're still retaining um, the curvature and everything, but you're simply getting rid of all the junk that it's not simply needed the topology is going to be an absolute pig but we don't care about really about uh, topology because this is not a game asset or whatever this is just a concept design so this is all we need if you for example have a client you need to cr create very quick um, design 
um, offer and you need to create you know let's say five six different shapes very quickly this is probably a fantastic way of going about it and uh, you know i highly recommend this add-on now in future videos i'm going to be talking more about kitops and i'm going to show you how to combine kitops with this add-on a bit more and i'm going to be using of course hard ups and box cutter because I can't live without these add-ons. So I always try to incorporate both of them into whatever add-on I'm, you know, I'm coming across. And I'll show you some more tips and tricks and things that you can do with it. So stay tuned and thank you for watching. See you soon.